Every time I get ready to take a video, you start fussing. Hey guys, today I wanna to tell you three reasons why you need to pay really close attention when you're ordering your roof trusses. When we started building, I knew nothing about roof trusses. I didn't even know what they were. It was one of those things where I just hoped that the trust company would handle everything for me and I didn't want to deal with it because I didn't understand it. Thankfully, we had a really awesome trust company. Uh, they beat everyone's prices. They were super fast and they did a great job. We went through ProBuild and got trusses through them. Definitely check them out if you're in the area of a ProBuild, which are like everywhere. So you should be in the area of a ProBuild if you're building in America, I think. But even though we had a really awesome trust company, there are still a few things that I wish I would have known and I would have researched better. One reason you need to pay really close attention is because trusses are not just something you can send back. Especially if you're building a custom home, then your trusses will also be made custom to your home. So once they're made, they're made, and they're really, really expensive. So to replace them would be a huge chunk. Our trusses cost a little over $13,000. Okay, here's a quick peek at what our trust plan looked like from a trust company. Uh, this blue purple area right here is our bonus room upstairs. And then each one of the lines is a separate truss. And they're all, not all of them, but different sections are built differently. So that's why each one of them is custom and they have to fit it to your exact house if yours is a custom build. When I first looked at our trust plans, it looked like I was reading another language, like none of this made any sense to me. So if it doesn't make sense to you, don't freak out. Just know that the best person to talk to about it would be the trust company that drew them up because they can answer all of your questions. And it's really simple once you know what you're looking at, but it's okay to tell them that you don't understand what's going on here and to talk to them about your concerns. Okay, the first thing to pay extra close attention to is if you have any vaults or ceiling changes in your house. So I'm gonna show you mine. So in our great room, we have a fairly large vault. Okay, and originally when they drew up the trust plans, the vault ended clear over by the front door over there instead of right here along the wall. See how it ends and then flattens out in the entryway. So we changed that. Be, not because we didn't want a vault in the entryway, but because these two rooms, that one right there is an office, and that one over there is a playroom. Those two rooms also would have had to, a vault to deal with in there because the trusses would have gone from the top all the way to the front door, um, and that would have been our vault. So we changed that. The other thing with our vault is that originally they drew it like four feet shorter. It was just barely vaulted in this great room, and I wanted big, big vaults. And so if I hadn't checked the vault plans, then we would not have had this. This is about a 15 foot, a little over 15 foot vault um, to the top there. And they only had it at about 11 or 12 feet, so it barely went up. So that's something to double check to make sure if you have a vault or a ceiling change in any way, you need to check and make sure that it starts and ends at the right place and that the height is correct for what you want. Okay, the second thing to look out for, are there are any skylights or large things that will be going all the way up through your roof that need to have a space to go up through without running into a truss. Originally in our house plans, down this long kind of dark hallway, let me quick turn the lights off and show you how dark it is. See, it's, it's pretty dark, especially if the um, doors are all closed. There was supposed to be a skylight at the end there to lighten up this hallway. Um, we got our trusses. We didn't check to see if there was space for it ahead of time. And the trust company missed that in our plans, I guess. And so when it was time to put the skylight in, there was a truss in the way. There was no room to put in our skylight that we had ordered. Okay, the third thing to be aware of is the positioning of your electrical and your HVAC things, specifically your lights. I'm not real particular about these kinds of things, so it doesn't bother me, but I have plenty of friends and people that I know of that are really particular about them that it would genuinely bother if this happened in their house. So I'm telling you guys about it so you can know. So here's my hallway, my other hallway. And as I go up, you might notice that the lights are off-centered <laughs> down the hallway. You see that? They're farther to the right, okay? Now, it's something I noticed 
doesn't bother me, but it might bother you. I don't know. And the reason that the lights are off-centered is because there is a truss right in the way and you can't put a can light right where a truss is. You can put it anywhere you want in between a truss, but not right on a truss. I definitely wouldn't worry about this in like a bedroom or a living room or anywhere where there's a lot of space, but down a hallway or a skinny area um, where you do notice whether something's centered or not, you might just wanna pay attention to that. My entryway is another example of that, although at least this one is correct. My lights are centered exactly in my entryway. See, right with my door. Right centered up. But had there been a truss running right there, we would have had a serious problem. And that's something that it probably would have bothered me because people would have noticed if you walk right in the house and the lights are not centered. So check that on your truss plans before you order. Okay, so once again, the three things that you need to pay really close attention to when ordering your roof trusses are number one, vaults or ceiling changes of any kind. Double check those. Uh, the second one are like skylights or fireplaces, anything that's gonna go up all the way through your roof. Make sure that there's space for those. And then the third thing is if you have um, certain positioning of your electrical or your HVAC that you really care about, then make sure there's not a truss in the way for you to be able to center those lights or put them where you want them to be.